Well, blind if I didn't. That is almost the identical malfunction as my father-in-law. Yes, he's in the same condition as Edward, too, which does not make the surgery any easier. Well, if Mr. Monaghan is as smart as Mr. Quartermain, he'll have only you perform the surgery. If he's low enough, of course. Oh, thank you, Maria. No, I mean it, Rick. No flattery intended. I've learned an awful lot from you, but... There's some things that are gifts that you can't learn from us. Just observing. Like your hands. Just uh, ten little fingers like everybody else? Mm -mm. Ten finely tuned instruments. All perfectly coordinated and ready to perform under any kind of pressure. Sorry, am I interrupting? Did uh, Monica mention anything to you about the party for Lee and Gail? Uh, I haven't had a chance to, Alan. Well, I will then. Uh, Monica and I are planning a party to celebrate Gail and Lee's engagement. Now, when we do, I am going to give you plenty of time so that you and Leslie can arrange your schedules accordingly because we definitely want the two of you there. Well, when that time comes, we'll see what we can work out. Whatever happened to the Webbers, Rick? I don't ever remember you being this antisocial. <laughs> And anyone would be anti-social compared to you right now. You seem obsessed with entertaining and parties these days. Well, it's that time of year. Everyone's tired of winter and looking for a little cause for celebration. Well, you don't need to force it on everybody, you know. I'm sorry. If I do seem a, a bit excessive, it's only because I'm trying to raise everyone's spirits after the terrible ordeal you've all been through. Look, I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to snap. Kiss me and I'll forgive you anything. I'm sorry you can't make it tonight, Rick. Please send my best to Leslie and Laura. Yes, and please give my best to your folks. Okay. I'll see you back at the apartment. Then. I don't know what, what what's worse. I mean, living my life being embarrassed every time Alan walks in the room and I'm with you, or, or whether I should just tell him the truth and get it out in the open. Monica, I think that's one question that only you can answer. I just can't go on living like this. For heaven's sake, Rick, I can't even kiss my own husband without feeling embarrassed in front of you. Just, just relax. How am I going to just accomplish that? Well, think about it. If we could spend the night on the beach in a deserted shack alone, fighting every real desire, then I, I think we could do it now, don't you? Yes, one would think that. Well, fine. Let's uh, get back to uh, Mr. Monaghan's EKG. Uh, I can uh, see it better looking at the x-rays. All right. Uh, as with Edward, we're fighting Cage, which... Monica, are you listening? Yes. Yes, I'm listening. Go ahead. Well, uh, we put him on a strict diet and uh, light exercise. I would say by early summer, we should be we should be ready for uh, surgery. I just please, please. Now, uh, just because my doctors won't allow me to enjoy some of the simple things in life, it doesn't mean I can't get a vicarious enjoyment out of watching other people have a good time. Well, I don't want to thank you. Darling, why don't you have a small brandy? It might help you to relax a little. Well, I'm fine. No, dear. You're not fine. And whether you want me to or not, I'm going to worry about you all the time that I'm in college. Mother Monica and I are still reeling from that newspaper article about Laura Webber this afternoon. I never realized that Mitch Williams played such a big part in breaking the case originally. Well, trust me, Edward. He had nothing to do with it. Well, today's article certainly made it seem as if he did. Indeed. Which makes me wonder if his self-proclaimed political campaign manager and publicist didn't have her fine hand in all of it. Tracy. That kind of hero building is what politics is all about, isn't it? But, but Alan, Tracy worked with Rick Webber every day. She, she, she certainly wouldn't have she done She certainly it. would, Mother. She'd do anything at all to further Mitch Williams' career. It's just one problem after another for all of them. All of them? Well, I meant Laura. I mean, for heaven's sakes, it's not enough that she's got to go in front of Judge Stallman next week. Now this. I really don't know how much more of us that Rick and Leslie can take. Much more of what, darling? Everything I am talking about, Alan. 
No, no, don't get so upset. The, the only reason I question what you said is because I thought everything is fine with Rick and Leslie. Well, how could it be fine with their daughter's picture plastered all over that lousy, rotten newspaper? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to go on with that. Oh, darling, we understand. But we're all very sorry for the weathers. And if I find out that my daughter even had the remotest part in, in putting that newspaper article in the paper, then so help me, Edward, she will be reprimanded, and reprimanded severely. Reprimanded? Well, just exactly what do you intend to do to her, Lila? Send her to bed without dessert? Take away her favorite horse? Tracy's an adult, beyond reprimanding, I'm afraid. Now, perhaps if you had punished her properly when she was a child, oh, it would... Don't tell me that you two are going to start it now. Look, I, I, I'm i afraid uh, my bad mood has become contagious. Really, I uh, I apologize to all of you. Oh, Don, you don't have to. Listen, we accept, and I have the perfect remedy for your bad mood. What? Just pick up the telephone and call Rick and Leslie and tell them how badly you feel about the article. Well, that isn't going to accomplish anything. Monica, you've called the Webbers every time there's been a crisis there, and you felt better for it. Well, uh... It's too late now, anyway. 9.30 is too late? All right, if you don't, I will, and then you can get on the phone and say hello if you like. Last month to the cleaners on our account? Yes. I like the sound of that. Sound of what? Our account. Leslie, I, I don't know how to say this and make it come out right. Being together here tonight, alone, it makes everything in this house seem fine again, and that's the first time that's happened in a long while. Sounds just fine. I understand that this house represents security, permanence to you, family. Does it still mean those same things to you? Yes, of course. Just because we're having problems doesn't mean I don't love it. Hello? Hello, Leslie, it's Alan. Hello, Alan, how are you? Very distressed and sorry about that article that appeared in the paper this afternoon. Oh, thank you, so are we. We just can't get it out of our mind. I don't have to tell you how upset Monica is. She's so terribly worried about Laura. How's she taking it? Well, it, it upset her terribly, of course, but she managed to keep up a brave front all during dinner. 